Hello, friends. You don't have enough spice in your life. So, unlike Dune, I don't have the spice. But I am going to bring you a spicy take. And that take is, drumroll please, leftism is white supremacy. Now, hold on just a minute, Mr. Jody Toby Bryant guy. What do you mean leftism is white supremacy? Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Toby, all the people on the left claim to be anti-racists that are anti-bigotry. They, they don't like people being racist or sexist or any of that. They fight for the fundamental, basic decency, human rights of others, and so on and so forth. How could you say that leftism is white supremacy when they so clearly, obviously, are anti-white supremacy, anti-racist, anti-KKK, all of that stuff? Let's say that I kill people. Let's say that I'm a serial murderer. And my nickname that I have given myself and that I tell other people that I am is Mr. Nice Guy. Or let's make it even more obvious. Mr. Life. Let's call me Mr. Life. And let's say that I kill people a lot. I really like killing people. And then and then my name is Mr. Life. Or, or Mr. Mr. The Living, whatever. And that's the way I present myself. I am anti-murder. I am anti-death. I believe that everybody should live to the fullest extent and that nobody should ever terminate their lives. But I run around murdering people. If I do this, but my name, my name, no, but see, we're, I'm anti-murder. So obviously, since I'm anti-murder, anybody who is coming after me, well, surely they are murderers. Surely they do not believe in the sanctity of the human being's life, the, the value, the fundamental value of a human being, because they're clearly pro-murder, because my, my name is Mr. Life. I am pro-living, not dying, not killing people. So if that's the case, you can't criticize me because my name is not a murder, but I run around doing a lot of murder. In this scenario, does this not sound absolutely stupid and ridiculous? Yet that's the scenario we live through every single day. Anti-racists are the most racist people on earth. Anti-sexists are the most sexist people on earth. People who claim that they fight bigotry, that they actively fight bigotry, are the most actively bigoted on earth. But because they call themselves and claim to be anti-racist, anti-sexist, anti-bigot, somehow that gives them a free pass to just be the worst of the worst in that regard. Now, you might be wondering with, with your built-in skepticism, which hopefully you haven't lost due to the public education system, you might be wondering how it's possible that these people are actually this way when, I mean, clearly you've been told that anti-racist people are fighting the racists, the Nazis, the bad people. Usually the Republicans or the right-wingers or the far-right or the alt-right or whatever term they've come up with this week to describe people that they don't like and disagree with. I'm on the right side of history if I'm on the left, right? Well, no, because think about what these people that are leftists actually do. Not what they say they do, but what they actually do. Are the leftists anti-racist? Well, let's examine the track record. <clears throat> leftists think that black people are stupid. In fact, leftists think that black people are so stupid that leftists think black people can't get a driver's license or even a state identification card in order to vote. Yet somehow, you know, it, it's, it, you need it for all sorts of other aspects of life, but specifically for voting, that makes black people so stupid that they need a leg up so we can't enact voter ID laws not because of some sort of inherent unfairness in voter ID in general, or because it's too difficult in general, it presents too large a barrier to voting. We can't enact voter ID law, and, and you can even pull the privacy angle. If you want to pull the privacy angle, I'm, I'm all ears. Let's talk about it. But no, that's not the reason. 
it's because black people might not be smart enough to figure out how to walk into a DMV and ask for an identification card. Black people might not be smart enough to find their birth certificate or to apply for a social security card if they don't have one. As a, black people can't get an identification card. That's, that's the reason that we can't enact voter ID because you think black people are that dumb? Oh, that's brilliant. That's really brilliant. What about illegal aliens? Take your pick. <clears throat> so if you're Hispanic uh, or if you're just generally here in the United States and you know, you're here, but you aren't from here, you're visiting, whatever, you're, you've immigrated legally or illegally, it doesn't matter. You're not smart enough to learn English. You're not smart enough to find work. You're not smart enough to get housing. So the government has to do it all for you. The government has to give you a bunch of money and, a, and, and give you free housing and all this other stuff. But it's not because the government is like some like, you know, it's not because the government just gives that kind of thing out to people in need. It's because you're stupid, specifically you, you are here and you are dumb, therefore we have to give you an extra leg up because equity, not equality, but equity dictates that you should have the same outcome as other people. Therefore, you should have food and housing and all of that and it shouldn't be up to you to get it. It's up to the government to give it to you for free if you can't get it yourself or choose not to get it yourself. Just because you're, you're here illegally, or legally, whatever, don't care. Immigrant, immigrants aren't smart, so we gotta give them welfare above and beyond what actual citizens get. Because immigrants disproportionately have more difficulty integrating into society, so we have to give them more stuff because, you know, oh, they have a challenge? Well, we have to break that barrier down. Oh, some white immigrant immigrant from Croatia or something who doesn't know English shows up here and has no money. Oh well, screw them. But you know, if you're if you're if you're not white, then we make all these assumptions about you and your intellectual incapacity and your massive skill level issue. You know, and so obviously you need all the legs up. But that that pesky white guy from Croatia, yeah, no, screw him. You know, he doesn't get shit. I've just realized this video is retarded.